The Millennium Development Goals are expiring this year and the United Nations is currently holding negotiations on sustainable development goals to replace MDGs. Civil society organizations working in health are engaging communities to get views on improving health services. In Busia district, residents of Lunya sub-county shared the challenges faced in health. So as the MDGs expire, we wanted to give the opportunity to community members to take stock of what uh, improvements have been achieved in their communities, what the gaps are, and see what can be done to address those gaps. Be helping a mother who is in labor to, to deliver if you are a midwife. By doing that, you're contributing to the bigger picture of eliminating maternal and newborn deaths. The residents pointed out inadequate staffing drug stockouts and congestion in health units. Drugs, essential drugs sometimes are not there. For us, for it, they need to analyze the, the, the prevalent diseases in the community. Then they bring those uh, drugs. Like when we are going for CVA in the community, we learned that some drugs are expiring in the, drug, in the store. That District Health Officer for Bosia, Dr. George Oundo, interacted with the community on the ongoing National Health Strategic Plan. If the in charge feels they have more of one disease, then medicine for that one, for that particular disease, which is more common in their area, they, they put a little bit more on that one than probably others. So what was being raised, I think, is an old issue. Today, that should not be happening because these people are asked and supplied what they think they need within that money which is available. These interactions are part of awareness creation on the Global Week of Action on Maternal and Child Health. I'm Nafka Farida and Adia Nakuti reporting for UBC News.